So let's just keep working on a few more different ways I think about doing gestures. So, um, you know, I've added some tools. I've got some uh, different erasers and some different size, thickness, you know, charcoals. Um, so this is a little more sort of free form, all right? So let's just get going here. So while working on this gesture, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, I know I've mentioned it before, but sometimes it's just all about line. So I'm really trying to capture that quality of the line, and what can that quality be? Thick, thin, uh, fast, slow, sharp, fuzzy, you know, hard, crisp. And I think that's part of the fun with uh, dealing with gestures. And you can see me here, I'm very rapidly moving, trying to throw in some tone. And as you can see, I'm using that charcoal in different ways. I'm using it on its edge. I'm flipping it over on its side, getting larger masses. And right here, I just grabbed a softer piece of charcoal to get a little bit darker on that bottom plane where the pear is carrying all the weight. I want to try to move through a drawing rapidly enough where I'm not drawing one area to a finish and then moving on to another one and completing that area. So you can see me in this sort of move, um, you know, rapidly from one object to the next. Or what I'm trying to do is build them up at the same time. Very rapidly throwing in some shadow. You saw me throwing in some mass tone. I'm trying to get that nice sense of light. And you'll see me quickly unify every once in a while with my hand or like I just did a paintbrush. So an eraser is a great drawing tool in and of itself. So you'll see me come through here and start to pull out highlights, start to make accents, and really use that eraser like its own drawing tool. Again, what kind of line can you get with an eraser? And I'm just trying to break some things up and add a little bit of action and some emotion into the drawing. I think an eraser can be just as powerful a drawing tool as the actual pencil.
So this is just another way of approaching a gesture drawing. There's really no right and wrong tools. Um, I get to a point where I'm working with gesture where I'll use a chamois, an eraser, uh, two or three kinds of erasers, a charcoal, pencil, pastel. Um, you know, anything you can add to the mix, um, you know, you're just adding more variety and more possibilities for, uh, you know, artistic expression. So we'll do a few more of these uh, with using different materials, but again, gesture to quickly capture the essence um, of these objects, these items, um, you know, add a little bit of action to them. And I think we've created an interesting drawing uh, where we're, you know, lightly using this as reference, but we're not copying it. And we get an idea of apple and uh, pear, uh, of drawing, of form, but also the idea of it's open and it has a certain human expression to it, which sometimes can be quite nice. So we'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, I'm Jonathan Simon, and in this course, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw. Do you want to learn how to draw beautiful drawings that amaze your friends, family, or colleagues? Would you like to learn how to effectively convey ideas in visual form? Would you like to produce amazing art, either from your imagination or from a subject, all while having fun? Then this is your course, The Complete Guide to Drawing. Drawing is a foundational, in-demand skill. In fact, drawing can help you in any career in which visual storytelling is used. This course begins with the basics, where we practice the art of gesture drawing to capture the essence of the subject from object to animal to landscape. Once you've learned the basics of gesture drawing, you will then apply effective drawing techniques while learning line and contour drawing. Next, you will learn the helpful practice of structural drawing, you will then build upon those skills as you learn various ways to apply tone or value in a drawing in order to add realistic depth and form to your drawings. As you learn how to draw in perspective, you will also apply other various methods in order to show depth. Finally, I will teach you how to produce a detailed rendered drawing of a still life by using the block-in method. Then for the final project in this masterclass, you'll draw a portrait of a subject while you apply the various considerations and techniques you learn throughout this course. I will guide you along the way as you build your understanding of light, shadow, form, value, and perspective as you build your drawing techniques and produce amazing drawings. This course has over 19 hours of helpful video content as well as helpful handouts and support files. I'm Jonathan, a professional artist and educator. I've been teaching students how to draw for many years now. As a university professor of drawing and painting, I've had a lifetime career in art, from graphic design to illustration to digital illustration. Before becoming a full-time artist, commercially my work and illustrations have been published on various magazine covers, advertisements, and commissioned for various companies. Some of my art has been featured in prominent galleries throughout the United States. In this course, my professional experience and education will provide you with expert guidance as you improve your drawing skills. My goal is to equip you with the skills and knowledge you need to produce amazing drawings. Jump on in the course and start drawing today. Get feedback from me and your peers as you build your skills and your portfolio. I offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not satisfied, you can get a refund. But I know you'll love this course as you start to produce beautiful drawings. So don't wait. Join today, and I'll see you in this course.